four, three, two. So apparently people are really heated about burning the flag. That's how we're going to start. Yeah, yeah. I found that out through TikTok. It took you TikTok to figure out that people don't like burning the flag? Yeah, it was weird. What did you think people thought about burning the flag before TikTok? Oh, well, they were neutral about it. They're like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I thought they were just, you know, like... Uh, you know. Oh, just the it's regular old flag burning. It's sort of like when you see a car that's that's clearly uh, broken down on the side of the street. You drive by, you're aware that it's happening, but you're like, you know, you don't stop. You don't really do anything about it. You just kind of keep going. I think those are two completely different things. Yeah. <laughs> Although I would, if someone was burning a flag, I definitely am not stopping to stop it. Right, yeah. Because no, they're no. a crazy person, probably. Bur- to burn the f- a-, a flag or the flag? The flag. Okay. I mean, it is against the law. No, it's legal. Is it? Mm-hmm. I it's thought it was like... It's considered freedom of speech. Defacing the... It's uh, the, it's considered freedom oh, of speech. that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I've been putting clips up on... I definitely think it's rude. <laughs> yeah, rude. <laughs> I think rude is fair. I'll give you rude. Like, to burn any country's flag is like, Jesus it's a little, Christ. It's a little rude. Yeah, yeah, it's a little over the top. Yes. I uh I've been putting clips up from the street stand up and I did I had this whole long hour escapade with this girl about just she was a Trump person. And put it, it up on used escapade. Yeah, thank you. I put it up on TikTok. Uh-huh. Bunch of different videos. Hold on. Bunch of different videos all about different shit, but the only the one that like people really latched onto was the the one about the flag and it got to 32,000 views and now it's just nothing but every time I open this app it's nothing but people arguing on my phone I didn't realize that that was a thing so people arguing on your post yeah like nobody I've never put something out there where that many people saw it to give a shit yeah and so it's just weird like opening my phone and seeing just Endless. You're, you're inciting hatred. How does that feel? Hilarious. Mm. I'm glad. Yeah. You like to make the divide worse. It's yep. And that's that's all on me. I don't think it's on anything else. Yep. Just adding to it. Thirty thousand people just make him just make him mad. Hmm. They seem to be supportive of me for the most part. Well, that's good, I guess. Yeah. All right. So, how'd you like it? Like what? Um, Cabin in the Woods and Groundhog's Day. Cabin in the Woods was fine. I'd seen it before. It was the exact movie that I was describing to you. And you said, I don't think, that, I don't think it was the same movie. And it's exactly the movie I was talking about. Sound like Ari I, I in described your head? it perfectly. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you could have saved me an hour and a half. So you don't enjoy you don't you just don't enjoy things. I mean, it was fine, but like I'd already seen it, so oh it's like God, you never you never replayed a video game. Yeah, but for a different experience, it's a different experience when you rewatch a movie. But it's the same story. But it's you the have same a thing. You have a different perspective about it. You never watched a movie and then time went by, especially movies with like uh, twists. With them, like you ever watched a movie and then rewatched it, and like oh, I never looked at it like that. That didn't happen for this movie for oh, me. I forgot that you're stupid. No, 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 because I already seen it, and it gives itself away the whole time. Okay. There's no twist. Okay. <laughs> there's ab- there's literally no twist from the beginning. They tell you what's going on. They tell you more or less. Yeah. When you you can tell there's something going yes, on. Yes, obviously there's something so, going like, on. So like, if you're not a fucking idiot. You can figure out, okay. Hey, well, maybe enjoy the movie. Maybe sit I, back and let the movie happen. I did. The first time? Sure. 
I don't remember the first time because I, I wasn't thinking about it that much. I just watched the movie. Well, there you go. That's how you watch a movie, Will. You just watch it. Yeah. I feel like you're the type of guy who like wants to figure out everything that's going to happen before the movie ends so they can be like, well, I figured it out and it was stupid and it wasn't actually that clever. Uh, No. I mean, I'm curious, but I'm waiting for them to tell me and for it to be like, oh, it's not. But like at the end of that movie, I was like, okay. Jesus Christ. I mean, it was I, it was just very laid out in front of you. Okay, well. so Was it not? No. The first scene wasn't even about. The first time you watched it, though, you didn't know what all of that was about. But you can tell that it's like a ritual thing. And the way they talk about it, you can tell. You can tell. Explain. How can you tell? Because they give it away. The very first time you watched the I movie. I don't remember. No, that's, I'm not, God damn. I don't remember the first time I watched this, so I can't tell you what I was thinking. Jesus you're Christ. asking a really dumb question. No, you're just a dumb person. No, I just don't recall when I watched that. It was just another movie when I watched it. It wasn't. Okay. Groundhog's Day. That was fun. Yeah. That's a good way to describe it. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. It, was, it made me laugh quite a few times. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. Movies He's that like are Ned Ryerson, <laughs> bam, just punches him. That's a good thing. <laughs> that yeah, shit yeah, was yeah. funny, and also when he like embraces him, yeah, and he's like, uh. <laughs> that that guy is funny. I was like, Bill Murray was good, but I was more impressed with the other actors and them able to like redo the same thing over oh, and over again while oh. somebody else is acting different. Like that must be like really weird, hard and weird to do. But you could also tell that like there was some ADR with some of the lines, where it's like they just repeat it, but it's, it makes it more like yeah seem like the same exact thing so yeah and the uh, apparently they would do scenes so the ned ryerson scene would be one like str- obviously he would just do he would act out the scene in one chunk do you know what i mean like when they were so, actually filming it so they would just film all those scenes together yeah. oh that's so weird and it's super impressive on bill murray's part because mm. he has to he has to be going through a character arc yeah but doing the same scene over and over again it's a real yeah. But that's that's something that's like, it's hard to to find comedies that are older funny. Yeah, I I I, I think I was talking it, by the end like with like the whole like, oh like what he found true love or like he fucking made a He's difference. Like, he like changed as a person. It's yeah, like he fucking, as a person. you're a come sh- on, you're a piece of shit. It's just like, dude. I mean, I know like back then it was like, oh, that's like a good like movie, like that's yeah. a good sentiment. But like now, I feel like you don't need that shit. You're you're just you're a it would have been just person. as enjoyable oh my God. if like I don't know, he figured out that he had to like save the world. Jesus. Like he Christ. became a superhero. Yeah. And then the Groundhog's the villain. When he played Beethoven's fifth, he hit that one note and then God that's when it, that's you what changed it. You fucking suck as know. a person. No, it's just like that's so like typical. It, it's a, a typical perf- Hollywood. It is a perfect no, not Hollywood. It's a perfect story arc. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like we don't need that anymore. Oh, my God. We like things that are out of the ordinary now. You're going to love old boy. Okay, good. Yeah, it's cynical. It's mean. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. violent. Yeah, that's great. It Nothing is amazing. redeeming about anybody. Great. And uh, I don't want to spoil any of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to be positive about any movies anymore because I was posi- I've tried to be positive about Uncut Gems and you were fucking shaming me for that. How I was like, I just want him to live and fucking ball out with his oh, young whore. Oh, I think that's because you watch movies wrong. I mean, I think I have a unique perspective on movies. How oh, about that? That's cute. Yeah. How yeah. about that? Yeah. You know, yeah. How, you know, you how know about, about that? that? How about that? Catch me outside. Yeah. Um, no, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? It was just, yeah. All right. I'm excited for you to watch Old Boy. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're going to. How are you with reading subtitles? Is that That's fine. No, not okay. at all. I prefer that. I like to hear the language. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know, even know what it's in. I'm assuming Korean, you said? Right? So- South Korean. South Korean. South Koreans. Does that make a difference? Um, versus South Korean, the North, North Korean? Korean. Do they speak different languages? I actually don't. I, it's mm, probably a dialect difference. How long ago did they separate? Do you know? Like the 70s? Oh, then they probably don't oh, speak different languages. I don't know. They probably have different dialects. It's probably like the equivalent between British and or English. Yeah. British English? Yeah. The fuck? Wait. English and English. Yeah, I get You can't it. call it British, though. That's wrong. Um, hmm. You'd call it... 
Britain. I don't know. British English. Yeah. British English. And but we American don't c- English. Okay. Yeah, no, that okay. makes sense. Yeah. Brit Britain. Are we stupid? I think I think so. Great Britain English. Great Britain English. Great British English. Great British. <laughs> great great English. Great <laughs> <laughs> Now you just turned into an Asian guy saying it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the Japanese who can't do the R's, right? Whoa, dude. Whoa. Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's George. Hey, why? Because <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> I was actually going to ask him to. George, you know this about this, right? He probably does. The Queen's English, by the way. See? Fuck the, off. Shut up. Is Did you really? Google that? No. no. What? I hate. He knows too I much. Hate, I hate George. <laughs> I watch a lot of television. God damn it. <laughs> His only National Geographic when he grew up. Mm-hmm. He just knows too much. Yeah. And it's not specific. But he doesn't know how to apply any of it. Yeah. See? It's information that is not at all practical. Useful at all. <laughs> it's just, just pointless information. What's something? Yeah. See, he knows. What's pointless information you've always wanted to know? I don't maybe, know. Maybe George knows. I don't know. I don't think this But you, you, don't, you don't think about it until, until it you, comes up. Yeah, you know? that's just true. Like, I don't know. Like, how big is the sun? How big is the sun, George? Real big. Real, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's not wrong. He's got all the answers. <laughs> Would you want a crystal ball? Yo, uh, if you could. If like, a, like a real one or just like just for a decoration? <laughs> a real one. Because both, yes. Okay. If you, could, if you could ask a crystal ball when you were going to die. Okay. Would you want to know when you were going to die? When? Yeah. Not how, just when. Uh, not when. Okay, why? Um, so I feel like you just dread it. Yeah. And you've been like, once you get there, you're going to try to like avoid it. You think so? Yeah. I think it depends why, on how. Nobody wants to die. There's people that kill themselves every day. Yeah, but most of them don't want to really do it. Most of them regret it before they. How How would you know? As they're pulling the trigger. You know this? Yeah. I'm listening. Pretty sure that was in one of my psychology classes. Is that really a thing? I think so. How? Okay. I mean, there's people that. J- Tr- like go through with it and survive you know what i mean like they attempt and fail that's uh, so that's a assuming uh, their brain is still intact they could explain it yeah so okay so so it's based off of the people that attempt genuinely attempt it. none of this fucking slicing to the side going all the way down the river yeah and the the people who survived that come back and they usually say i regret it is that yeah, what it is i don't know probably do you, you're the psychology guy. I don't remember for sure. I was just saying stuff. You okay? Yeah, why? I'm just making sure. Okay. Okay. All right. But you keep your hands on your table. Uh, keep your hands on the table. Don't tell me <laughs> what to do. <laughs> I don't trust you. You shouldn't. All right. Now I really want you to keep the hands on the table. Don't boy. tell me what to do. Why not? Because I do what I want. Okay. I am my own man under my own willpower. Willpower's overrated. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's that ASMR. Keep doing it. Yeah. That's what I need. Remember uh, how we said the last podcast was the stupidest one we were done? Yeah. This is off to a good start. Of, of being the stupidest up, one? Yeah. I, I think what happens is it starts off stupid, uh-huh. and then eventually it becomes... More stupid. Yes. Yeah. And that's and then it, and then it's over, and then people listen to it and say, "Why did I do that to myself?" Right, right. And right. then they keep coming back. Do they? I actually have no idea. Yeah, I don't know either. if it's the same people or not. But uh, um, okay, so you wouldn't want to know? Would you want to know how you died? Hmm. I don't think I want to know anything about my death. What about other people's deaths? Like if you had a crystal ball and you could know when. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be like, uh, all right, you have a crystal don't ball. Don't go to the store tomorrow. Ooh, okay. So you have a crystal ball and you can figure out how and when I die. First off, do you tell me? Uh, whew, I'd ask you, hey, do you know when you, want to die, when you die? How and when you die? And I say. My crystal ball told me. Then I say, fuck you, Will. I, I'm I'm serious. Prove it. I I pull out my crystal ball. Can you show me Bo's death? Do I have to roll an Arcana check? Uh huh. 
So I, I I can't just show people. I have to use it myself. It doesn't work when other people are around. So you're like a Mormon. Is it Joseph Smith? I don't know. I'm asking you. Oh. Um, that, although, I mean, I would just show people. That feels like it would cause chaos. You think so? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. If you had that power. I'm going to say that nobody else can see it but you, and the only way to convince people is by obviously predicting when people die. Yeah, I'd be like, uh, homeboy's going to slip and fall next Tuesday. And die? Just watch. Just watch. For sit, t- for two weeks? Yeah, sit and watch. Sit in, sit in the same spot? Yeah, it's going to be right there. Okay. So then is it like butterfly effect style, you think? where I don't know. Is time travel possible? George, is time travel possible? No. Shit. I agree with that statement. Why? Is it because of the conundrum of it? No. It's more of like... We talked about this at some in some form, didn't we? Just like philosophically doesn't make sense. Like philos- like when you type like philosophy and science, it just doesn't really make sense. What, is it, what does a wormhole do then? Doesn't it shoot you through time or something? Bends time? No, it... You just cross a distance that would be like faster because it just like bends time space we are not qualified for this conversation it's like a, it's like a loop it's like it's like take george a piece is making of, faces right like now you take a piece of paper okay and then you fold it in half and you put a george is getting a piece of paper you get a piece of paper okay so let's say you were to put a Oh, perfect. <laughs> do you know what I'm about to do? George has conducted this experiment before. So, you... Okay, so that's like the center, right? I'm going to put it on both sides because I can't go through. But, so, let's say this is your wormhole, right? It's in this spot in space. Okay. What it does is it folds space uh-huh. to connect to two different a- spaces. So, you get to the, the space. Same time. So, you just get to the... Sp- the f- they're faster than everybody else. Yeah. So time travel in theory is possible, but, but you're still ahead in time in the timeline of everything. Like it's still forward. Right. So you can only go forward in time. I guess if you consider traveling a distance in a extremely fast amount of time going, but I mean we can already do that just at a slower rate. Yeah, we're not smart enough for this. Um I think like you'd have to come up with something that goes faster than the speed of light. Cuz you'd have to go the opposite direction <laughs> as the speed of light i guess i just want to find out that you're your own father that would be cool I, ew, would it be cool yeah or gross I'd be like i pulled this off like a master so you would be <laughs> fucking your mom you're gross bro so your dad's not really your dad unless that's you in the future oh shit i'm gonna text you in the future and that means you're your dad wait what does that mean that you're your dad no because i'm not gonna fuck my mom back? Ugh. Will's eating candy right now. So, yo, you said you said uh, Kit Kat's underrated. Mm-hmm. Also, why are you eating Kit Kats like a savage? You fucking give it a break. I'm trying to be fast. Overrated candy. Overrated. Mm-hmm. So you say Kit Kat's underrated. I like Reese's peanut butter cups, but I think they're overrated. Why? I don't like the wrapper on them. Too inconvenient to yeah. pull it off. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll give you efficiency and candy. And then like, it's just like, just give me a bar, dude. <clears throat> I don't need two fucking different things. I like. Okay, I'll give you the inconvenience of opening the wrapper, but the taste. The texture. I like the the rigid the ridges. I always like it when they have like these things for like seasonal, mm. where it's like it's basically pumpkin or like a bunny for Easter, <laughs> where it's like a ch- a big chunk of it. Did do people go hard in Michigan on uh, Halloween? Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. and you guys? I'm guessing traded and you you traded candies and you got the um the big sheets like the bed sheets. You didn't do the the. No, no, no. We got our um pillowcase. Pillowcase. Right. Right. Yeah. And you guys screamed at for running on lawns? Mm, no. Mm, that's okay. So you guys were just allowed to just step on over people's lawns? 
generally speaking. Oh, I got screamed at if I ran on the lawn. George. Yeah, well, it costs money to uphold a lawn here. That's fair. Back home, it just kind of grows. Makes sense. Did they have lawns like that? Did you guys get in trouble for running on lawns for, for Halloween? Because everything was just sand? Dude, hmm. what? They had grass there. Yeah. I just picture it. Most sand. places, grass grows. All around and around in the green grass grows all around. That's a Barney song. Why do you know that? <laughs> Please tell me that's a work thing and that's yeah, not from memory. It's a work thing. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. And your thanks. What are you? What's your? Why? What, what, this feels like we're on a shitty date right now. Oh, we are. Right, okay. And that's you're, what this. That's what <laughs> these. All these episodes are. God damn it! I want to eat this airhead, but Did you eat the fucking. Eat no, it? that's gross. Too gross for the podcast. It does have a lot of smacking. To yeah, it. I'm not gonna do that. To, all right. To our listeners, to our loyal listeners. I don't know why anybody would listen. This is the, without a doubt, this is the dumbest, worst podcast ever. No, on the well, like in general. Because that's likely to. It's possible. Yeah. That's okay. At least we're something. And the worst podcast in the Buddy System Network. What are you talking about, question. dude? I just explained to you how wormholes work, dog. <laughs> Using a piece of paper. Is that accent you have? I don't know. It's just... I don't know, dude. At least it's not about politics. At the very least. Yeah, which is in 12... I almost said 12 weeks and 12 <laughs> days. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. You, you voted. Vote? Yeah, I voted. Yeah, me too. I voted. I felt disgusted with myself. I voted all red. God. Down the line. Prove it. No. You can't see my ballot. That's against the law. Is it? Yeah, for sure. You can't tamper with my ballot. I'm not going to tamper with it, but like if you showed me your no, ballot. You can't. No, you can't do that. That's why they have the booth separated. But... Oh, I thought that was just because... No, you're not supposed to show it at all. People have been taking pictures and putting it on social media. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Pretty sure that's against the law. George. <laughs> <laughs> George, is that against the law? Showing your ballot? Before it's uh, before the thing happens? I think showing is not, but doing someone else's is. Hmm. That... Hold on. Hold that's on. Like, that's like the thing where like if someone was just like, here's some child porn. And yeah, and like, then you what? are now in trouble. <laughs> yeah. You're now in possession of child yeah. porn, which is illegal. So if so, if I take a picture of my ballot, put it out on social media, everyone who looks at my ballot has now committed a crime. I guess so. Okay. Which seems like you should also be charged with a crime for getting other people to commit a crime. It's like inciting. Inciting a crime? Think, yeah. I mean, it's like, I don't know, dude. Also, I, I started... Wrong, by I the way. St- this is... So I wa- I started watching the Kanye y- Rogan. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do it. I'm so excited. It I, I got what? How far did I get in? Like f- I'm not even joking. Like in. ten minutes. Oh yeah. I got ten minutes in, and I was like, oh, okay, this is gonna be Kanye. Fourteen minutes and thirty eight seconds. You, you get it? It's Kanye. It's just it's Rogan sitting back and saying, Kanye, here's a question, and then Kanye just kind of meanders yeah and talks about stuff he talks about how he he's sent by god to save the world <laughs> and shit and he's uh, he's so is this a performance art do you think no <clears throat> i think he i think kanye genuinely believes that him being president is the best thing for humanity that is bonkers he really no but he like really believes he, ha- he has a, a level of confidence that is unmatched yeah yeah where he, it's all you hip hop heads' fault. Is it? I thought yeah. it was just mental illness. Like, he's such a genius. Oh my god, he's, he's so good. He's a musical genius. I paid three hundred forty-five dollars for a ticket. He's a musical genius. Whatever. This is, this is consumerism. But this is this actually kind of goes. So he's a he is a he is a victim of consumerism. As is everyone else that. Bought yeah, to him. Yeah. Well, you're wearing a, a consumerist shirt. We're doing consumerism stuff on. How dare you? I am in support of my home team, who's not in the playoffs. <laughs> Why are they? What they suck? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they're rebuilding. That's what uh, we. That's that what we say. <laughs> that's what we say when our team is really bad. We're they're rebuilding. Just, uh, they have a good farm system. They have one. Of, they actually do have one of the best farm systems in the. I don't know what league. that means. So, Major League Baseball and base basketball does this too. Most most professional sports do on some level, where like. The players that are either like just coming out of college or like just got drafted out of high school, they'll put them in like the minor leagues and they'll they get better 
most people don't get drafted and start playing in the major leagues. So not they like have basketball. To go, no, they have to go through like a farm system of like, it's just, it's a different style of play a little bit. It's just, you know, the next tier up, you got to get ready for it. Okay. The discrepancy between a major league player and like what, like the lowest minor league is single A is like, is vast. Really cr- okay. Yeah. So versus a uh, college basketball player versus NBA player is a little closer. Yeah. What about football? Um, more like basketball, hockey, same. Okay. So what is it? What's the discrepancy with baseball? What makes it different? Experience mostly. I'm listening because your college players and people coming out of high school, they're not used to playing every single day and their body is also not conditioned to play every single day, except for like phenoms like Mike Trout who just came out of high school and started playing. But most of them are just not ready and they have to especially pitchers because mm. they throw a lot more and they throw harder and right. you get in they and also on, on top of that they need to get stronger so they can throw faster or else they're just going to get annihilated right so and same with hitters they need to get stronger so they can hit the ball farther and run faster etc cetera, etc cetera. And, and, and on top of that it's about experience too just like being around the game situational like how are you going to handle like under pressure? Cause like if you have some young kid that's never been in the world series, mm-hmm. he's, he's going to handle it differently than someone that's been there three or four times. So that makes sense. And, or like a similar situation of like, Oh, they were in like the minor league quote unquote world series, like championship. And that's, you know, it's like a similar situation of like, this is high stakes. Like you get a bonus if you win this kind of thing. Right. So, but obviously like world series is the, Tops, which is happening right now oh yeah dodgers are up two to one in the series yeah going to game four tonight in texas i don't know who's pitching but i found out that mexicans really love the dodgers oh yeah why i i just don't get it why didn't don't get them liking the dodgers no Los doyes. Mm-hmm. i don't i don't like I've always I've enjoyed playing sports, but I I don't think I even as a kid I never really enjoyed watching it. Like even even when I was in my 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 Laker days um, in like middle school, um, I actually know where I was when when Robert Ori hit that shot against I uh, was the Sacramento Kings. Do you remember that? I <laughs> know. Fuck, fuck. I was at my I was at my friend Lalito's house down yeah. the street. Yeah, yo. It was it was a um, it was a championship, and it was I want to say it was Lakers were down by two, and I think F- Vladi Divac accidentally fucking hit the ball towards Robert Ory to hit the three at the buzzer beater, and the house erupted. Yeah, it was that that moments like that are what you wait like you want in sports. Yeah. I feel like that's what makes baseball special when watching it. It's uh, it's very like you don't know when the big play is gonna happen, but when it happens, yeah, it's fucking intense. Yeah, and like basketball is like kind of predictable because it's like okay, he's got to hit the shot. Like you see it coming, you know. But like baseball, it's like it could be any pitch. Like you just don't know when that. Like obviously, like as you get down to like oh, it's the ninth inning, hmm. full count, like literally one strike away from the game being over. If you hit a homer, like that's obviously crazy. So basketball is like good old fashioned sex, and then baseball is edging. And you edge, <laughs> I guess. And you dude. edge, and we get closer to that night. Then, yes. Don't stop, baby. Don't, oh, don't. Okay, okay. Stop for a little bit. This is, and then you edge. All right, all right. We're the eighth, down the bottom of the eighth. eighth. I feel like it's more of like a, a marathon. That that metaphor is probably better, but not as gross or funny to me. Yeah. Yeah. Have you you you've done you edged right? <laughs> Anyway, in other news, <laughs> we should we should definitely next next time we should write some topics. Okay. Do you I love that you like to produce on air? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is totally something like afterwards you could be like, hey, let's write down some topics next time so we're not yeah. doing it in the middle of the the podcast. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Nobody. Why does it matter either way to you? Does it actually matter to you? Will? It just ruins the flow, bro. Oh, the, there was a flow. There was absolutely a flow. Yeah, you just ruined it. 
My bad. I didn't mean to fuck up the flow. Yeah, of dude, this, you're always fucking up my flow. This man. brilliant podcast. Don't fucking roll you're your eyes at me. So disrespectful. What's more disrespectful, rolling your eyes or snapping at somebody? Um, snapping. Like so someone's like actually rolling your eyes. Like a genuine, like a, like whatever. You're just. Garcon. Yes. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, it actually does kind of. <laughs> yeah, I don't snap at me, bro. <laughs> you genuinely get upset and the podcast is over? Yeah. No, that was the straw that broke the it's camel. Not gonna be, it's not that bad. I don't like it when people uh, don't use their words with me. <laughs> like, when, if, 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 like, if I'm being too loud and like, someone says hush or shush, it's like, bitch. You say, excuse me. Say, can yeah. You please hey, can you. Quiet down. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But, shh. Mm. Rude. Yeah, you get it. I do get it. I do. So old boy. Oh yeah. yeah. Old man. Yeah, old man boy. Old by. That's what you said earlier. Old by. Old by. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what I said? Is that what I said? Yeah. I just, you just missed the O. But um, okay. What else? What else are you gonna give me? You gave me two this last time, and I forgot them at home. Yeah. Which sure. is fine because you're gonna come by tomorrow and grab them. Yeah. So. Oh. Um, old boy. Okay, I'm trying to figure out your your taste. Okay, you like darker stuff. It seems like you like um, visually I like a lot of stuff. I, okay, can you just what, I, I, if you say it's a good movie, I mean I'll watch it. It doesn't matter what genre it is. If it's good, it's good. I don't care. Yeah, but you have a taste. Like people when people watch. I mean, movies, if I sit down to like go to Netflix, like I'm not probably not going to choose a comedy. Right. So like I'm not going to give you a straight out comedy but for you the most part. Did generally you gave me Groundhog. I mean, that's pretty much Groundhog Day. Yeah, that's pretty much a, that is a comedy. I mean, it goes under the comedy. I would call it something else. It's Magical a, realism. That is not a genre, dude. Yeah, it is. No. Magical realism. Magical. Magical realism. realism. That's a I, fucking genre. It's just a comedy, dude. Magical realism is a genre. Okay. The genre of to- storytelling. Uh, okay. But and you're, if you're fucking on a website looking for movies, magical realism is not going to be one of the genres. Under horror, action, adventure, comedy, it's called fantasy, dude. Well, that's what magical realism is. Well, when we talk about your little sporty it's sports, it's a fantasy movie. Okay, it's a fantasy comedy. When I'll we give discuss you your sporty sports, yeah. I let you talk. Okay? Magical realism is something we nobody's ever said. Your ever sporty sports. In when we discuss your video games, magical realism. When we have a discussion about your video games, I listen. Yeah, roll your eyes, bitch. <sighs> magical realism is a thing. I'm not saying Here's it's not a thing. Magical realism. Another term for magic realism. I don't feel like looking Oh, at were you wrong? What? Is that why you're putting it away? No, I just got lazy. Oh, okay. I mean, we can No, we can bring it up if you I mean, I don't know why else that you would have not All right. <clears throat> magical <throat> realism movies. Uh-huh. On Netflix. Oh, yeah? Yeah, actually. Is this a uh, Netflix itself or is this someone writing an article? Let's okay. If I type in magical realism on Netflix, okay, let's see what happens. Do you know what it is? Magical realism. I mean, I get it. You get it. Jesus Christ, you're the worst person. I'm really not. It's a comedy. I mean, I guess it's not a very humorous. No, because I was laughing pretty hard sometimes, man. Sometimes. <laughs> Like when he went to get the piano lesson and he went and he's like, I have a thousand dollars. And then the lady just like pushes that little girl out. I thought that was hilarious. Oh, hilarious. Yeah. That was really funny. That is really Cause funny. I was hoping it was going to happen. And then it did. I was like, yes, Harold <laughs> Ramis, but that was directed, was... written and produced he's by the, the w- legendary Harold. Ramis. He's the one in the aliens now, right? No, that's Dan Aykroyd. Harold Ramis is dead. Uh, oh yeah. You fucking uh, dick. Whatever. I know so much about movies. That's Bryce who knows everything about movies. You were just... Clapping at you? Yeah. yeah. You were literally just Clapping bitching about me. Yeah, yeah, Not knowing as much as you about That's movies. just because I like to upset you. I, well, I wasn't really even getting upset. Okay. Okay, so. well. Um, fucking... Com- yeah, old comedies. I don't know what it is about the timing. It's hard. Yeah. 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 So what are you going to give me next? Oh, yeah, yeah, Um... You liked Whiplash. I think that yeah. was your favorite one, right? 
I don't know. You're, you're just the worst. I'm just watching them, dude. I don't. I don't pick a favorite one that you've given me. You're the absolute. Why would I do worst. that? I just watch the movies and enjoy them. I don't have to be like, mm, I didn't like that one as much as fucking Game Night, dude. You're the worst podcast. I didn't like that one as much. You're I, the I, worst. I just no. You. I just don't have that personality to like rank movies when I see them. Like I just okay. don't care that much. Okay, well, okay. Old boy. If you ask me which of my favorite bands' albums I have are more of my favorites i'd be able to tell you that because which, which of your favorite band's albums are more of your favorites okay for protest the hero my favorite album is scurrilous oh <laughs> what yeah it's a word that you don't even know what it is or what it means no that's a real word yeah what is it what does it mean it's a word what does it mean it means yep and <laughs> <laughs> hey siri what does scurrilous mean Of damaging their reputation. Yeah. So you, you no, actually, you don't do that. You don't gossip. No, not really. I yeah, like yeah. to listen to gossip, but that's that's definitely you. Okay. So um, scurrilous. Sure. Not skrillex. Scurrilous. Uh, scurrilous. Yeah. Scurrilous. Yeah. Scurrilous. Yeah. Scurrilous. And then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and then. Their latest one, um, Palimpsest. What was it? Say it again? Palimpsest. Can they name some shit with normal words? Can they just say? No, they're smarter than us. Just so. Death Skull or whatever the fuck. No, that's not that's not their style. What? I don't know. Every metal you... you, you I have shown you protests. You don't even care about my favorite bands. This is why I don't give a shit about your shit. Cause you don't sh- fucking care about my shit. I think our podcast is just us bickering. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe we should just get a divorce. From the po- like the podcast. Yeah, ends? I think we should just end it right now. Yeah, just everything. Just re- delete all the episodes. <laughs> I thought you would have to split it in half. Oh yeah, we'll just split them in half. And then <laughs> this, this is William's episodes. This is Aaron's episodes. Whoever talks. And we're to the not going to take like I get one, you get two. It's like we're going to split the episode in half. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. yeah. You get the first half. I get the second half. Dre's getting fucked right now. Who? Dr. Dre. For why? His getting, he's going through a divorce and his oh, wife is claiming oh, that sucks, dude. <laughs> his wife is claiming half of of uh the chronic, I think. <laughs> and Oh, it gets better. And his name. Like oh his persona God, as Dr. Crazy, Dre. Crazy, dude. I need to eat a racist pieces after hearing that. That really surprised. Like if if the Me Too movement happened, I don't know why we haven't had the the whatever the male version of the Me Too movement is for for divorce. Mm-hmm. That really surprises me. You know, mm-hmm. like mm. the but just the 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 lack of logic of that 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 the court's even going to consider something like that kind of surprises me. Because it doesn't even make, like, logically, it doesn't make sense. If right. She, give, give her some money, fine, whatever. She doesn't need to be working it in and out or whatever when they get a divorce. But she was like, I need $1 million uh, allowance a month for clothes. And she, like, really crazy shit. Like, I'm really like, crazy shit. You're not with shit. me anymore. I don't pay for your clothes. There's, I don't feel like doing it. That's fine. I don't, I don't really want to see it. It's, it's. It's like clearly a fuck you. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand why. Like if you have money and you're comfortable, just go move on. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> or just deal with it. I like mean, was he, yeah, was he like beating the shit out of her? Probably. I mean, he's Dr. Dre. Whoa, probably. dude. That's a thing. Really? Yeah. That was a, that he's was a, known to be abusive. Yeah. When. Um, when oh, the, yeah. Well, then she can have all the money she wants. I guess. D- does Manny Pacquiao you support, get paid? You support female abuse? Is that what you're saying? Does Manny Pacquiao answer the question? Let me let me get. I'll answer the question. Let me get to my my stupid metaphor first. Congressman Aaron Chase, <laughs> answer your question. There's no way I could run for Congress. Mm-mm. Neither of us really could because of this podcast oh, dude, alone. I could be president. I guess yeah. I guess I guess the bar's lowered so low now that like anybody I'm running, could. dude. Twenty thirty five. Yeah. Yeah. What would it take for you to run for president? A whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If someone was like, 
you should run for president. I'd be like, you know, I should. All right, can I be your VP? <laughs> yeah, dude, absolutely. Nice. nice. That'd be so fun. I mean, I'd need a black guy. So yeah, it's just that's strategy. Yeah, I don't right. even really like you. That's just strategy. That makes sense. It's like I what Biden like is doing with Kamala Harris. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we're all waiting for Biden to die and Kamala to take the the throne, right? Yeah, but I don't even know that anything about her. So. She, I know supposedly that supposedly puts a lot of people in jail for weed. She so put a lot of people in jail. That's for not weed, cool. Apparently. Yeah, I don't like any of them. Yeah, but no, we're already going down the. Th- I think that's another thing that that throws us off a little bit. What's that? Is that the world is still politics? Yeah, I think once the world stops being politics and other things start happening, I think yeah. that would be nice. Yeah. But you're also just a shitty podcaster, regardless. I mean, I mean, I'm not the best, but hey, you know, are you tired or something? Can't win them all. You sleepy today? Mm, no. I was thinking about trying Kentucky Fried Chicken again. Yeah. No, but it's you, me trying it. You so want to go? A, not right now, no. No, I know that, but like sometimes you can order. I'm not going to do it around you because you're going to uh-huh. make it a hellish experience. No, how? You can't make KFC a hellish experience. Dude. Remember, fucking, remember, when we, bliss remember when we went to L.A.? And, yeah. And I tried to eat pizza yeah. slowly? Yeah. You made that. You made pizza a hellish well, experience. That, that I mean, that was because you're being a I fucking wasn't, asshole. I wasn't expecting you to eat so fast. You're being a fucking asshole. I was just trying to help you, Aaron. No, you're not. I was. No, you're not. I was trying to help you, and no, you, you were refused an it. You're an ass. I was just trying to be a friend, dude. I'm telling you, you're you had, the worst I was letting you ever. know you had a problem. I was like, I'm trying to help you, and you just you're the worst friend ever. Shot me down. You are the worst. There's no way that's possible. Who's a worst friend? Takashi six nine. Yeah, he's a pretty shitty, he's a pretty friend. bad friend. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Um, well, also the people that like fucked his girlfriend and the kidnapped him are also shitty friends. People that framed Tupac and Biggie framed him. And, like set yeah. him up. Do you know anything about Tupac? That? Got set up, dog. Biggie killed him. That's some, those are some wild accusations. Will I? I mean, I didn't come up with it. I watched it on Hip Hop <laughs> Evolution. Oh yeah, <laughs> I hope I hope I can't wait to make another season of that because I want to watch more. I mean, they were stretching thin in those last yeah ones, so mm. we were like, "What the fuck are they talking about?" The bottom of the barrel guys yeah, from like Florida, New Orleans. Like, who <laughs> who do you know that's noteworthy that came from New Orleans? In the Bayou. The fuck. That's fair. Country rap. Yeah. All we right. Start talking about uh, what's their faces? Florida Georgia Line before too long. Florida Georgia line? Yeah. What is that? It's like country rap. Oh. I don't know. That's a thing. I can't believe you don't if I do. I've kind of like found a nice little groove with the artist I listen to. Yeah. There's same. just too much. Like I listen to a lot of um, hip hop news mm-hmm. vid- YouTube videos and just to get the gossip. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't actually listen to Baby Keen. Or, or <laughs> exactly, or um, fucking Tory Lanes and Megan Thee Stallion, their whole uh, drama. Yeah, I don't listen to any of that shit. But I've been digging the the baby. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> I like female rappers right now. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Who, because their asses they shake. Just, they just say the craziest. shit. They do shit. say some wild and stuff. It's fucking bonkers, <laughs> and it makes me laugh. And that's what I like. That's what I you like in your music. rap. That makes yeah, dude. Laugh. That's why I like listening to Ludacris. I've actually been meaning to talk to you about this. I've been listening to like old like like word of mouth, <laughs> and like it's it's comedy. Yeah, it's a comedy album. It's really silly. It's fucking hilarious. And he has. Eagles like. <laughs> and shit like that is so fucking great, man. And he has this uh, Dr. Seuss style of rapping, where it's like. It, it, it's, it's very um, simple. Like mm. when you listen to Eminem and it goes all over yeah. the place, whatever, like Ludacris is super simplistic with his rhymes and what he talks about and his references. Uh, right, right. And they're just goofy. Like, Yeah, it's just fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of I, I enjoy listening to it a lot. T.I. just came out with a new album. And then Mystical comes out with, with with a fucking verse, and it's like, whoa, dude, this is super aggressive. You, when we recorded the, the A to Z, you told me to mimic that. Yeah. Yeah. What Was that just because you would listen to it it's recently? It's fun. It's good. It's fun. It makes me laugh, but it's just like, Jesus, dude. I can't believe I let you affect my artistic process You musically. didn't use it. Yeah, we did. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, then. You it, just didn't it, listen to it. Fuck it, you. It must have been the best one then. I uh, must have been right because uh, it's whatever. not like that was the only one we sent. Well, all right. Oh, so you're going to tell me I'm wrong? Yeah. I am a rap producer. 
can't believe I didn't get credit on that. You, you're in it. I know, but I didn't get like a producing credit. Okay. I recorded. You did record one time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was For fun. For a lot of stuff. It was fun. We should. Uh, I helped you. It, this once. Is, I helped you on one live. Yeah, well. <laughs> if this is why I don't want to have day jobs. Yeah. Like if we didn't have day jobs, we could totally make an album. I mean, you could. No, like I could just. But you could. Re- you could, could record the technical stuff. Yeah, you could be the guy of. who does the stuff. Yeah. With the um the, the levels. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna try that one again? It didn't. It didn't come through in the in the left side, so we're gonna run it again. Would you rather be a director or a music producer? I feel like a music producer is probably more fun. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like directing is a lot of work, and like I think both are a lot of work. But. Yeah, but I don't know. I think it's just different. You're gonna make a movie about 2020. Me? Yeah. Why am I gonna do that? It's just a hypothetical. Oh, did I just I just landed a job? Yeah. As a director? You get to direct the 2020 movie. Okay, I'm going to hire someone else to direct it for me. This will be my first. All right, you get to be the casting director for the movie of 2020. <laughs> okay. Who plays Donald Trump? Alec Baldwin. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Who plays Joe Biden? Ed Harris. That's a good... Okay. All right. Oh, you're taking this one seriously. Good. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying to think of people. He was kind of one of the first people. I'm trying to think of a good old or fucking Sir Ian McClellan. Play, yeah. I, Gandalf. I could see. Have This is going to go off t- track here. Have you seen um, um, Sid and Nancy? I don't know what that is. Do you know Sid Vicious? Nope. From the Sex Pistols? Uh, I mean, I'm familiar with the band, but I'm not like. Oh. Never mind then. Okay. You know uh, Gary. You know Gary Oldman, right? Yeah. Yes. I oh, know the name. He. Yeah. He. I always forget what he looks like. Because he's a chameleon. He's like a yeah. Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. He plays Sid. Uh, Sid Vicious and Sid and Nancy. Oh, he's um. What's his face from the Batman movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And okay. His performance in Sid and Nancy is phenomenal. Who is the guy? Christian Bale could probably do it. He Christian. did a uh, fucking. Um, he did Vice. Yeah. Christian Bale. I. That's. I think that. Acting is an underrated art form. When you see someone like that, yeah. yeah. But yeah. there's some performances that are like, I could do that. Well, the same goes with comedy. So, the same goes with music. Yeah. But people think actors are just, oh, they're just reading lines. And yeah, if you're Kevin Hart, yes, you're just reading lines comedically. I mean, even Kevin Hart has to at least put Try. effort into it. Yeah. But the the art of becoming a character, mm. it's so in the ether like it's hard to yeah. how how do you even teach somebody how to do that just dissociate from yourself yeah pretty much i mean that's probably why like daniel day lewis does shit the way he does it he's like i'll just become this person like i don't have to battle with going back and forth i just i'm just always this person method acting yeah <sighs> that makes more sense to me than anything else neil yeah. I guess it does. I think that's more. I think it's healthier to on, the, on the psyche. Yeah, I'm listening. Why? Because you just start living a lifestyle, kind of. You change mm. your lifestyle, but like if and it becomes just like routine. But as if you're going like back and forth between headspaces, I feel like that's not really good I guess, for you. I guess if the characters are really extreme, if you're playing like the lead in a romantic comedy, you don't really need to. Yeah, well, you're probably not acting that much. No, like truly not. acting. You know, if somebody casts you in a romantic lead, you're, they're like, we just like how you, you are. Look, yeah. yeah. It's like how the way you look. Yeah. That but even that is hard being being on a set and for the hours that they do it and the, the environment around it is still hard. Yeah. It's weird when there's like people and there's a camera in your face. It's weird to act anyway. To, to, act, seem, to act natural is really yeah. hard. Yeah. To seem natural when every when everything's unnatural like literally yeah. everything is not natural even the light's not <laughs> yeah, natural not real yeah yeah and they're in like those marvel actors dude sex scenes must be so weird yeah so fucking weird have you seen the disaster artist no but i would i wanted to watch the room first. oh okay you want to watch the room yeah okay. i'll watch the room all right well, well boy get the weed together oh i mean it's a whole do you, do you know about the sex I, scene I, no <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm excited. Oh, Will, you're going to you're going to have a blast okay, with it. Okay, all right. 
<clears throat> yeah, I'm excited to watch that one. Okay. I, yeah, because well, I wanted to watch The Disaster Artist, but I wanted to watch The Room first. Okay, well, watch The Room, then I'll give you The Disaster Artist. Okay. And then we'll so go So, Old there. Boy and... And The Room. The Room. You, but we... The Room isn't something you sit down alone to watch. Oh, really? No. Because it's... It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. Like... You're going to be bored. You're going to want to be like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> There's, it's one of those movies where, you know, it's a yeah. mystery science theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. If you, it's, yeah. So if you want to watch The Room, we can do that. But I, you doesn't even need to be with me. I don't give a shit. But like, you should watch it with someone. Okay. 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 All right. I don't have The Room. I got to ask Jesus Bryce for it or something. Christ. Why the fuck would I You're buy the that? the worst friend. Oh, I'm the worst You're friend? the worst Because I don't have the room yeah. to let you borrow? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. All right. How much time have we been doing on this? 50. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. This right? is 50 we minutes literally of... literally haven't covered anything. Nothing. This is 50 minutes of nonsense. Yep. Well, that's what our podcast is becoming. I think it'll improve after the election. Do you want to start finding clips of stuff that's not depressing to play and talk about that would be nice think that we could do that maybe I could bring in my ipad and set it up like clips um topics that thought of b- before because when i come here to do this podcast fuck it, fuck it we're in the prod production whatever i don't give a shit <laughs> what what do you why do you look excited when, when i'm on my way here to do this podcast when i'm on my way to do this podcast da, 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 da. i put a picture on my windshield of you you don't have a picture of me which one is it? There's a picture of you. Uh huh. Where you're at, you're on stage at the hideaway. Uh huh. And it's from the, it's like lower. Uh huh. And you're in. Oh, you got your, my good angle. You're in. <laughs> there's no good angles. Yeah. You're in. Yeah. You're in that. I can't remember what color it is, but you're in the the um, yeah. the jacket that you always it's wear. Pretty vague, dude. Fuck you. It's pretty vague. You're bald. You're very white at the time. You have a beard. Uh no, you're you're in the jacket that zips up that is zipped to the halfway point. You're holding the microphone, you're holding the mic stand, and you're doing this. And I put that on my windshield every day and I scream at it. <laughs> <laughs> did you print it out? Yeah. You went to the library to print it because I know you don't have a printer. Yeah. Or did you go to the library or like Office Depot where you had to spend ten cents to library. print it? It's you boring. have a library card? I did actually. Where? Um, downtown library. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I actually sent. Uh, I told my friend when she was living in Scotland that I was gonna send her a picture of my dick in uh-huh. college. Uh huh. And oh shit. Well, the story started. <laughs> and so. <laughs> so okay. I told her and this was before like email apparently. <laughs> yeah, this so is back in the day. So you took a picture. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you the whole story. Let me tell you the whole story. Okay, so I told her I was gonna I was gonna mail her a printed out picture of my dick. That's what I told her. Actual size? Uh, yeah. And so what I did was I I just Googled big black dicks. Oh my god! I found just a dude with the largest dick possible, and I I printed it out shitty too. It was all pixelated, and I folded it up. Didn't add a note. Didn't put any sort of explanation. Sent it out there. And we had stopped talking. You know when you when you do a bit and you you stop, you forget about the bit, but the other person doesn't. <laughs> There's something really satisfying about that. And so I mailed it to her, and it had been like a month or two since the discussion, and mm-hmm. I'd forgotten about it. Mm-hmm. And then she opened it up to to find. Uh, was she entertained by that? Apparently, apparently she thought oh, it was funny because she forgot about it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. Did she know it wasn't your dick? She thought it was when when she got the package. She was like, yeah. "Aaron didn't really," and she opened. Once she opened it though. Like, yeah, she, she like, opened it and she realized like, "Oh, it's not really the dick," because she'd seen it before. The, the big giant. No, your dick. No, what? No, well, I don't know. No. How else would she know? She just assumed that you didn't have a big giant dick. No, because I had the picture of the guy in it. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't just his dick. That would have oh, been. Okay. I thought you meant it was like a no it snapshot. Yep, this is a stupid way to end a podcast. Yep, it sure was, but that's how she goes sometimes, you know? A lot of the times with this podcast. Yeah, go ahead and uh, tell the people your stupid social media accounts. Oh, and Aaron Chase 91 on all the shit, whatever. Okay, and I'm at the Slim Henderson on all the Twitter shit. and at the underscore Slim Henderson on Instagram. Um, come hang out with us at a open mic, I guess. Are we talking about this? Thursday nights at Worthington's at 9 o'clock. Um, 
go to our website, thebuddysystem.co. Find us on YouTube, Buddy System Comedy. Uh, we got YouTube our uh, podcast coming out on the podcast network every pretty much every day of the week. So check us out, give us a follow, and we'll talk to you guys next week.